few questions about the advanced part of question two. So I thought I'd just make a quick video explaining how that would work. So uh, we're building on the question where we have a green rectangle, the top middle of the screen, and it's falling down the screen. So I have that code here. Um, so hopefully you have something similar where we've got our rectangle here. We have our variable Y position, or whatever you named it here. And we're incrementing that by one each time. So it goes down the Y axis and down the screen. Um, we also have our background, which refreshes that for every loop iteration of draw. So we have this code here and we want to apply it with the draw X and the draw house function that we did in the week three practical. So what I have is I have my draw X method here and I have my draw house function here that I've just directly copied from the week three workshop and we don't want to make any changes to our functions here, uh, which is quite easily done. So I'll work on draw X first. So I've got it in the top middle of the screen. And again, just with the, similar with the green rectangle question, we just want to be increasing our Y coordinate value so that it goes down the Y axis and down the screen. So what we want is a variable for this value here, because this value here represents the Y value, uh, which is used by our line function calls here. So I'm going to create a global variable up the top. Uh, it's going to be Y position again, and I'm going to make it 50 for now. And then I'm going to place that variable in here. We want to increment that variable each time, just as we did with uh, this first one. And we want to refresh the background every time as well, so that we remove any previous X's that we drew uh, before this one. So we run that and it's just that simple. So just as we did with the green rectangle um, and we can do the same with the draw house function. So instead of draw X, perhaps we want to do draw house. And if we have a look at our input parameters here, we want an X value. So I'm going to make the X value half the width. Um, we want our Y value, so we do want it to go down the screen. So we're going to reuse this variable here, YPOS. Um, for my red roof, I'm just going to come up with some numbers. Uh, there we go. So we've filled in all of those parameters. I'm going to update my Y position a little bit um, just so we can still see our house. Okay, so if we run that now, now we've got a house going down the screen. So if you write your functions correctly, this is quite an easy uh, change to make when you implement these variables here.